Well, new at 5 o'clock, a war veteran died while visiting the mountains, and his family is having trouble retrieving his body. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us live from the Western News Center. What is the holdup, Rex? Richard Butner was camping in the Cherokee Reservation last week with his girlfriend when he died suddenly. Determining next of kin is delaying the return of his body. They were walking hand in hand like, you know, teenagers. William Luke runs the Lost Cove campground in Cherokee. He says Korean War veteran Richard Butner was relaxing with his longtime girlfriend last week. Just as happy as he can be. But late Monday night, approaching midnight, Butner's girlfriend came and found him. And said that uh, he's having chest pains. He's thinking he's having a heart attack. Despite the efforts of EMS, Butner died not long after midnight. His girlfriend then tried to take custody of his body, taken to Medwest Haywood. Her hands are tied because of a technicality of him being married but separated for seven years, uh, catch 22. Because of the North Carolina law stating that it has to be the one, you know, his wife, which would be next to Ken. But Butner's sister, reached by phone in Florida, says she is nowhere in sight. She never even entered my mind as far as, you know, a, a wife, you know, because I really thought he was divorced. We don't know what to do, and I, I don't want North Carolina to think that we have just walked away from the situation. And so here he is, you know, uh, just laying up there in that morgue, you know. As an Army veteran himself, William Luke says Richard Butner deserves better. How many other vets around the United States of America are being treated the same way? Butner's sister says she's working together with his girlfriend through Florida's Veterans Affairs Office. They have stated that if we can get the death certificate, they can get things going. Now, the VA's office in Haywood County says, by law, all reasonable efforts have to be made first to reach Butner's wife, then his sister could be contacted. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.